Hello, dear traders, you're watching Traders Calendar on Insta Forex TV channel with BK Nidachina. The following economic statistics is slated for release during the later part of the week. On Thursday, a report on industrial production in China is yet to be published. Analysts predict the indicator to gain 8% on a yearly basis. In September, industrial output in China rose more than expected. In a report, the National Bureau of Statistics of China said that China's industrial production rose to 8% from 6.9% in the preceding months. Analysts had expected Chinese industrial production to advance to 7.5%. Statistical data such as activity in the manufacturing sector, investment, inflation, and industrial production indicate the weakness of the economy in recent months. To prevent a slowdown, one of the last measures of public Bank of China uh, was liquidity injections uh, of 500 billion yuan into the five largest public banks. On Thursday evening, the U.S. will update the statistics on initial jobless claims uh, filed last week. An increase of 282,000 is expected by markets. The seasonal adjusted number of initial benefit applications in the United States for the week ending November 1st was 278,000, which was 10,000 below the previous week's revised level of 288,000. The projected decline in the number of initial claims uh, had been 285,000. Experts note that the continuing positive trend on the US labor market has a direct impact on the timing of interest rate hiking that boosts the US dollar exchange rate. On Friday, Germany will print a report on economic growth. In the third quarter, the economy is expected to grow by 0.1% compared to the previous three months and by 1% on an annual basis. According to the final data for the second quarter, the German GDP fell by 0.2% compared with the previous quarter. On an annual basis, the German economy grew by 1.2%. Experts surveyed by Bloomberg had expected the first figure to drop by 0.1% and the second one to add 1.4 percent. The officials said that despite the loss of momentum compared to the last year, the German economy continues to expand. The Ministry of Finance links the GDP contraction to the Ukrainian crisis, sanctions against the Russian Federation, as well as weak investment and slow growth of trading. On top of the above events, uh, the following macroeconomic statistics uh, can affect currency movement uh, at the end of the week. On Thursday, Japan is going to release a report on core machinery orders. In Australia, RBA Assistant Governor Christopher Kant will deliver a speech. Germany will publish the final data on inflation and the ECB will release a monthly bulletin. On Friday, the Eurozone members will print reports uh, on economic growth. Canada is expected to reveal manufacturing sales. In the EU statistics on retail sales and the consumer sentiment index from the University of Michigan is on tap uh, for Friday evening. On Saturday, a two-day meeting of G20 is expected to begin in Australia. It was economic calendar. Have a nice trading with InstaForex.